Joey bought eight books. Some books cost $12 each. The rest cost $18 each. He spent a total of $108. Which of the following systems of linear equations could represent a given situation? So it says here, it's best practice for students to define their variables. It is omitted here for simplicity. If we really wanted to, we could say, let x be the number of books that cost $12. Let y be the number of books that cost $18. So let y represents the number of books that cost $18. The, the, these books are more expensive than these ones here. But what do we know? We know that Joey bought eight books. Some books cost this much and the rest cost this much. So x plus y equals eight since Joey bought a combination of these books. X can be four, Y could be four, uh, X could be two, Y could be six, X could be zero, Y could be eight, who knows, but somehow the combination of a certain amount of X and Y books is gonna be eight. Some books cost $12 each, so here, if X is the number of these cheaper books, and that's how many he has, 12 times the number of books is gonna be the total cost represented uh, in terms of uh, the uh, the first book because the the cost multiplied by the number of items is the total cost here so this makes sense the twelve dollars here corresponds to this coefficient twelve here and the same goes with eighteen dollars the actual price the total money spent which is hundred eight dollars which is here is depending on how many uh, of these books we have as well as how many books these books we have and of course we need to multiply by the actual cost of each book here's the cost and here's the number of books so this equation also makes sense and once we come up with these two equations which is the hardest part it's quite easy to use our basic algebraic techniques to solve for x and y